Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to have a fourth part of the string in which we're going to have an application. Okay, application of the problem of string problem statement of string which is taken from hacker rank. That is a string question from called alphabet rangulu. You might have seen this question. So let us get into it and let's code for particular pattern. Okay, so this is the pattern programming question in which you're going to print a pattern called alphabet rangoli. So now you are given with an integer n okay your task is to print out an alphabet rangoli of that size so this is the size and this is the rangoli this is the size and this is the rangoli for 3 and 5 and 10 respectively okay so we have this rangoli for particular size the center of this uh, the center of the rangoli has the first alphabet the center has the first alphabet and the other alphabets corresponding alphabets are printed on the boundaries okay so this is how our pattern is going to be now the input format will be just a line which is which contains an integer which will say from how much which alphabet till which alphabet we need to draw this rangoli for similarly you're going to have a range from 0 to 27 of course because we have 27 alphabets i guess not i guess okay it is now then we're going to print the uh, the print the alphabet rangoli in the format explained above okay now let us take an example like we have 5 and this is the output now let us get into it first of all the first and the main task is to bring out all these alphabets so for this what we're going to do is just reusing the range function from 97 to 123 yes from 97 to 123 but we need not the integers we need its char format so in care format we're going to bring out all the alphabets and i am mapping these i am mapping all these characters in list i'm mapping all these characters in list and saving this in list one or let us do it l1 okay is that clear so we have from range function we have a range function taking from 97 to 123 in care format mapping it to list so this is how we brought all the 27 alphabets that we have in lower case of course okay so this is it now we we have bought all the alphabets now we need to get what is the width of this particular what is the width of this particular first line so that we can move forward so you can see that the width of the first line is same as the width of the middle line which has all the alphabets no hyphens the hyphens are just between the middle of this so now what we have the value of n we have n is equals to 5 that is if n is equals to 5 we have alphabets a b c d e yes and if these a b c are in lists then what 0 1 2 3 4 are the positions of this particular letter are the, of this particular letter 0 and 1 0 at 0 is a is at 0 b is at 1 c at respectively now whatever as i said you whatever our main goal is to get the length of this mid string so to get the length of this mid string first of all we need to get this string so how do we do that because here we have 5 here we have 10 this 10 is going to have different width so we need to calculate whatever n is we need to get the length of this mid string so what as i said you so this is if n is equals to 5 we have a b c d e with the particular positions and i have just given it n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 n minus 4 and n minus 5 is that clear so for 5 till 5 position we have as the positioning with respect to n now i'm considering this first string without hyphens okay which can be written as this d b sorry e d c b a b c d e okay now i'm going to divide this particular string in two halves one in reverse direction and other simple string from b c d e like this we have e d c b a and b c d e this is the first part and the second part now what you can uh, now let us get the logic of printing this string the first part of the string how do you what do, what do you observe we observe that here a b c d e is in reverse order 
so we are going to print this list we are going to print this list which has this a b c d e in reverse order let us do that now only so like we have l1 okay l1 now from where it is starting it is starting from e and e has the position n minus 1 so l1 n minus 1 till where we need to get it till end okay so we are not we are not going to include any thing in between but we need in reverse direction for taking it in reverse direction we're going to add minus one we're going to take it in reverse direction this is how we print the first part of the string now how do we print the second part of the string that is b c d e the second part of the string can be printed as c from where it is starting it is starting from b what is the index of b it is one so it is starting from one till where it is it is still e that is n minus one but we need to include this e so we'll write till n do you get because as i have said you in previous video this n is not n but it is n minus one one previous element to that n yes so this is how we are going to print this now now let us combine this and write x is equals to l1 from n minus one in my reverse direction plus l2 n2 sorry 1 2 n yes is it clear so this is what we got the list but without hyphen without spaces we need to join we need to adjoin this particular thing particular string with hyphens so for doing that what i am we are i am joining the string x but with hyphen but with hyphen so this is the function this is the join function which i was talking about like whatever join filling function is a filling parameter with the join function okay and i need its length so oops so so this is how we get the length sorry this is how we get the length okay i wrote it over here so we need length so this is the length of this particular thing okay now now let us write it in code also like what we have is x is equals to l1 okay let me just copy and paste it okay okay we had the length now what we need is the width so i'll the width is equals to the length function with the join function is that clear so this is how we get the length of that particular this thing what what we have got we have got the length of the middle part the length of the middle part is nothing but the first line whatever width we need for the center function is that clear yes it's so this is how we get the length of this was our main goal now we can proceed forward so that we can print out this pattern okay this pattern now what i have did is i have divided this particular thing into two part the first four lines and the rest okay this is our my upper part and this is my lower part if i get the logic for this i can build a logic for this that is nothing but in reverse direction is that clear so for this thing okay for this thing i have the upper part like this now one thing i am doing is i am dividing this upper part into again to half from this okay like this you can see over here so this is my divided part okay now i'll i'll build a logic for this part and i'll build a logic for this part also first let us start with the second part and now i'll see you how do you build the logic i'll tell you how do you build the logic now over here let me write and copy paste one thing like we have n is equals to 5 this So that this is helpful no we will get where we are now you see e over here okay so e is n minus one so we need to print just one single thing that is n minus one over here so now how do i do that i i need to slice the strings no so n minus one till n and now this n is again n is nothing but n minus one so we can we are just what is going to get printed the, the e letter is going to get printed now 
here what you can see we have d and e both so it is starting from 3 that is n minus 2 so it is starting from n minus 2 going till n yes here n is nothing but n minus 1 so going till e similarly for c d e it is starting from n minus 3 going till n again you know? and then we have the last line that is starting from b that is n minus 4 so it is starting from n minus 4 and going till n yes it is okay so this is the second part what you have observed in this what you what do you observe we observe that it is like it is like i'm writing it on the second part so that like li is or list one okay n minus i till n here i is nothing but starting from one yes so we have i is equals to one so this will this is what we will initialize that starting from i till n so we have one two three four and five okay so this is our first uh, this is our second part this is what we got printed this thing the forward string now we're going to print these things okay i'll start from down now what you can see over here again we have the things in reverse direction okay d e d c it is starting from e it is starting from n minus 1 so n minus 1 okay starting from n minus 1 going till n minus 4 c what is c here c is n minus 3 but if i take c as n minus 3 then it will just still print till d because it is always n minus 1 so it is i'll take n minus 4 but i want to go in reverse direction so this is it okay similarly for this thing okay this thing what we will start from n minus 1 it is starting from n minus 1 oops going from till n minus 3 but in reverse direction do you get that okay i'll format it so that you, it will be easy to understand then we have n minus 1 till n minus 2 in reverse direction is that clear similarly here we have nothing we have just a star okay so we need a space over there so for that what just including nothing like n minus 1 till n minus 1 till n minus 1 in minor in reverse direction so it is going to print nothing is that clear so let me just format it a bit so that you know it is easier to get to you okay so this is what we have this is our logic like over here now what you can see in this what is the thing that is uh, similar like here it is one then two then three then four so the first part what we have l1 l1 from n minus one till n minus i in reverse direction so this is what will get printed what will get printed from this the this part and what will get printed from this part this thing can you get do you get that i hope you did okay so this is the first part and the second part now we need to add this two and we're going to join this two okay and we need to repeat this i thing so what you're going to use for loop so let us see let us write the code first of all for i in range for i in range from 1 to n now one thing i need to say that your n is nothing but your size n is nothing but your size okay so from 1 to n of course it is starting from 1 and ending at n whatever n is given okay so starting from 1 to n what we have 
we have this thing we need to print the whole string we're going to print this the first part i'll just copy it plus the second part but what but we need hyphens between them so what we will just make one more bracket and write like we need to join it with hyphen and join function okay we're going to join this thing one more thing but we need this things okay let us see how what do we get i don't think we're going to get anything great from this let us see what do we get so whatever it will get printed okay we're going to apply the same logic for the for this part for the next part this thing okay i okay we need to put an input like let's see five only so it gives an error 12 okay sorry oops 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 one error we got that is here it is just l1 sorry let's see now five yes we got something we got this part e e d e but it is not center aligned right it is not center aligned so we need to align it to center how do we do that for doing it we will be using center function we will be using center function but how much what is the length we need it for width and right? for width and we need to fill it with hyphen we need to fill it with hyphen now let us build it and let us see what happens yes do you get that we get this upper part what we coded for okay now similarly we're going to get in reverse direction we are just going to copy this thing like okay we're just going to copy it and we're going to print it or oh, sorry paste it hmm. now but there will be one change over here okay there will be one change here the range will not be from 1 to n here the range will be from n to 0 in reverse direction okay in minus 1 direction now let us see what do we get i'll explain you why do we have why do we have that range just checking it once let us input 5 and we get that particular rangoli that we want is that clear so we have e b c d whatever okay now let us see why do we have this particular range okay we are here we are going to start with n okay let us move towards our diagram what we have it is starting from n it is starting from e and now it is starting from n and it is going till a it is going till a but in reverse direction e d c b a okay e d c b a e d c b a e d c b a do you get that okay so this is how our thing works let us see for 10 do we get the good output yes we get what we want okay just go through hacker rank write this question try it yourself okay and tell me do you get any error or hacker ranks cases are not satisfied okay just go through it and check that out okay i'll just so that you can take a screenshot or something so this is your code for hacker rank alphabet rangoli question thank you for watching i'm i'm going to come with another video in sooner okay one thing do not forget to subscribe so that you never miss any update as well as go like share and subscribe oh sorry go like share and comment and thank you